The Sunshine Trilogy 1. Talking to the Sunshine I get tired of journeys. I get tired of my job. Of driving, of being driven crazy by my mother's demands. I get tired of seasons, of summer, of winter, even, even of monsoons. I get tired of conforming to the society's diktats. I get tired of screaming queens, of scheming activists. I get tired of my desire for sexy boys with massive dicks. I often even get tired of myself. What I never seem to get tired of is talking to you. Any time, any place, with you, without you. I can talk and talk forever to you. Sometimes I talk in prose. Sometimes in third class poetry like this. Sometimes in the surreal language of the dreams. And sometimes without talking at all. You are my life, my sunshine. How could I get tired of being with you? Two, a poser. I am not the wittiest of queens you can find. I do not have the sexiest of bodies which keep flitting around you. I certainly do not possess the biggest of penile appendages that you have experienced. I am not even passable as a pleasure provider. I am so much older, with so much excess fat, with so little time, before I lose the last hair on my head. I have the lousiest of tempers and the worst of possessive natures. Given half a chance, my mom would exchange me for an Idi Amin. So why do I try wooing you, my sunshine? What could you possibly find in me? Three. And a reply. He told me all about himself. What he perhaps thought, words and all. And asked me not an iota in return. And he watched my face bit by bit revealing. His innermost perhaps waiting for the first signs of flinching in my face. Little did he know that in exchange of being his, I could give up all that is mine and all that could ever be mine. Least of all, ever think of insisting that he fall in line with the established mores of the present day society. Little did he know that riddled with my numerous insecurities and infirmities, I could scarcely believe that he had actually brought with him for me his golden sunshine flooding all the darkest deepest corners of my being with his undying rays of love my sunshine would you actually believe that the most cherished the most beloved and the most important moment in my entire life was when in a reply to my most convoluted question about us you had buried your face in my naked shoulder and had said simply, I want to be yours.